how to install WordPress on GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how you will be able to have WordPress on your GoDaddy. Now, in GoDaddy, you are able to do multiple things such as purchasing domains and also hosting websites. And you will be able to use WordPress as your website builder and at the same time use GoDaddy as your host. And you are able to do this inside their website over here. You can see that they offer all kinds of services for us to choose from. And you would be able to see here under hosting, we have WordPress hosting. Through this feature, we will be able to create a website using WordPress and under GoDaddy, meaning you're not really opening WordPress, the website itself, but rather you're under GoDaddy. Now, how do you do this? To be able to do this, you could check your account over here by selecting your My Product Options. Checking your My Product Options ensure that you have the option for web hosting as you can see here. Some users, if they only purchase a normal domain in GoDaddy, the only available option that they will be able to see is the domains, websites and marketing, and additional product. If the web hosting is not present for you, you will need to upgrade your plan. If you check the plan available in GoDaddy, which is going to be available when you view your renewal and billing over here or rather your hosting and WordPress options over here. I already have mine so let's actually just search it. GoDaddy plans web hosting. Their website is a bit uh, confusing to navigate but over here as you can see these are the prices for our web hosting so let me change it to our dollar over here change our uh, there we go so there are multiple plans in godaddy that would allow you to have web hosting and then be able to have or install wordpress into your website or start in web wordpress under godaddy so you have four different plans over here. You have Web Hosting Starter, Web Hosting Economy, Web Hosting Deluxe, and Web Hosting Ultimate over here. Depending on the size of your project, you might need to select the specific plan that you need to take. Because for example, in Web Hosting Starter, they're only going to allow you to make one website and one database. And then a limited amount of resources. As you can see here on web hosting economy, there's much more and so on and so forth. So make sure that you scale the amount of work you're going to do based on how much you need to work on. So if you're going to work on two or three websites, go with the deluxe because that will allow you to have at least 10 websites. If you are under hosting economy or starter, you're only going to have one website. Now, after ensuring that your plan is updated and you have your plan uh, bought and paid, this option should now be available for you. What you're going to do is you're just going to select it and click on setup. And this is what you're going to see. Now you could get started right away. You could either create a new site, migrate an existing WordPress site, or set up your account and then add a site later on. So if you have a WordPress account or a WordPress website already working or already designed on the WordPress website itself, you could easily merge it together with our GoDaddy over here so that you don't need to start everything from scratch anymore. You could start from GoDaddy. You could also create fresh website inside of GoDaddy over here or we can continue to set up our account first. So over here, you go, your site is optimized for speed. So select uh, the best or the data center that is available for you as you can see. Uh, for me, it has recommended North America. So I'm not going to touch that. Click on continue. And over here, 
Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to create your WordPress website. Uh, we could do it, but let's do it or let's not do it for now because we need our account to be set up and ready to go as you can see here. It's basically going to set up because of course it's a website. There's a lot of setup involved, especially if it's going to be online. And so you're going to have to give it time. You could also start doing other things while this is going on. You could even try and set up again and try to create a website while this is going on. Oh, there we go. As you can see, uh, let's click on go to dashboard. And we, this is our website over here. Now, what you're seeing right now is called the cPanel. This is where you will be able to manage and check out all the different things involved with your account over here this is your dashboard of course you can see here that you have your website so what we're going to do is we're going to click on install application over here that will basically allow us to install our wordpress into our account so over here this is cpanel by the way there we go uh, the available tools over here uh, there's a lot of available tools that you could install into your cPanel and you will be able to see here you have WordPress. So just select WordPress and you will be able to install WordPress into your GoDaddy and then you will be able to create your websites and everything else. You can also check out all the different information or other related information in the page that we're seeing right now. You have your website security, email users, uh, you could even make your professional emails over here with a specific email that you want uh, we have your different tools you have php admins you can have backups and of course you have your very important account over here you have your primary domain you can change that if you want uh, you have your cpanel login that is very important as well you have your password and you have your website matrix and then over here we have our servers as well so this is what you can check out over here and what you can expect going back here in our cpanel uh, there's a lot of different apps over here so after creating your blog if you want to expand your horizon learn more things you can even try to install some of the things that you are seeing over here as you can see there's a lot of options over here so most of them are cms uh, and then you have your indications, stuff like that, portals, uh, there's apps for e-commerce over here if you want, you have Magneto, uh, there's also photos and files over here, there's a lot of different apps that you guys can check out. So uh, we have our WordPress over here, so simply select this and it will proceed to install. So that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, thanks for watching.